or the conjugate base of HSO4 minus. So conjugate base of HSO4 minus. So just for context, okay, HSO4 is kind of like um, hydrogen sulfate ion. I believe that's what it's called, hydrogen sulfate. So in order for it to be a conjugate base, it needs to, in a sense, have served as the acid in the equation. So that being said, we have HSO4 minus plus, plus H2O, because H2O is going to work here as our base, and this is going to be our acid. Okay, and then we get... We get SO4 two minus. That would be, sorry, this is not liquid. This is actually aqueous. Plus H3O plus. So I guess you can see here what I've done is that I've went from this over to that. So those are complete and productive. Well, not complete, but there's a donation of a proton to water which is how it goes from H2O to H3O. That's why, because remember, base received proton. That's what water did. So that if we have acid and base here, this is going to be our conjugate base and conjugate acid. That's the result that was supposed to produce from them. So now we can see that our conjugate base here is SO4 2 minus. So this, sorry, make sure, this right here is going to be our conjugate base because remember if you're looking for a conjugate base of something you want that thing to have gone and lost an electron I mean sorry <laughs> lost a proton once it's a loss of proton that means that you're not dealing with conjugate base perfect example something similar we can use um, acetic acid let's use that so be CH 3 COOH that would be it and so with that being said, when it's losing that um, hydrogen, we now have CH3COO minus, okay? This H being gone turns this into that, okay? And um, that would make this the acid form because it's able to give away a proton, and this is the base, all right? And that's also known as a conjugate base, while this can be the conjugate acid. So just further supporting how once you lose that proton, you're dealing with the conjugate base of yourself. And that's really what this question is done. So when we look at this answer, we have conjugate base as a substance form when the acid loses the hydrogen. And although it has a negative charge, it will never accept hydrogen to form H2O4, which is not necessarily correct. But there's ways to have... Um, H and then uh, or two H's and an SO4 in a liquid because it's fully um, I guess dissociates but you can still have H and SO4 there point B is the important part here is the ending sentence where it says hence the sulfate ion SO4 2 minus is the conjugate base so that's correct of HSO4 so that this is correct now let's move on to the next question okay so we now let's get a quick